Hey there. What I'm trying to do today is uh, do a few different little jobs that I need to do. And I'm going to try and do everything with a solar panel um, and that little battery and inverter. So right now I have my Ford running off the battery. So I got the forge blower going, see, and it's going to the uh, to the inverter there. And uh, sun's not out anymore, so we're basically running off battery power. And my next thing is uh, these are dies out of the power hammer. What I got to do is round them up on one side so I can do uh, fullering work on one side and have like a flat die on one side and a fuller die on the other. And this is my solar line so I'm gonna run that off solar power too. We'll see how long a grinder will last. So there you go, that's, a, um, that's the top die for the power hammer which basically gives you a, a flat spot to do flat things and uh, a fuller side to uh, do a lot of heavy drawing which uh, this machine wasn't really set up for. So hopefully that'll work. So I've got the, uh, the bottom die and the top die the same now. The, it's like a slight arc to it you know that's so when you're drawing out long bars and doing a real long draw that's that's what you need this machine didn't come with that so I had to make it up and so far I've done everything with solar power uh, even my lights I got a big two light thing going there and that's my lighting for now <laughs> I don't think I can do everything on that battery power but I guess if I, whatever I use, I mean, that's not going to go on my power bill, so it's kind of a pain in the ass, but it'd definitely be good to have like a whole building system, you know, but I mean, you'd have to spend $5,000, so I don't know, I figured if I run a few things here and there, uh, I did all that grinding from battery power, ran my forge on battery power, and I'm running this light on battery power. Um, the real reason I'm doing that right now is just because I'm kind of curious how far this battery can go like I have no idea uh, I just checked the voltage on it uh, before I started all this I had about 13 volts and now I'm down to about 12.2 so you know I don't know how to test it for how many amps are available and the thing is the uh, the inverter cuts out when you get below like 11 volts or something it just shuts off anyway so um, then I mean you still have a lot of power there because it's a deep cycle battery but uh, you need to run everything on 12 volts to, to take advantage of that um, I do have some 12 volt lighting but uh, no, I just want to see how long I can, how much energy I can get out of that before the inverter shuts down that's the main thing and I was going to do some forging here with the power hammer but obviously I can't run that because that's 220 so Anyway, let's move forward.
sure didn't like a chop saw. Have to go with household power to use this thing, I guess. While that forge gets going, uh, what I'm, uh, what I need to try and do is uh, making these uh, balusters for a, a, a railing. Um, I'm either going to buy them from uh, King Architectural or something like that, or I'm going to make them. So I'm going to try and just do a little test here, just to see how much of a one-inch bar I can draw out in just one or two heats, um, how long I can make them. Um, if I can make them, then I'll make them. But uh, if it's not economical, then I'll buy them off the shelf. Chinese can make them a lot cheaper than I can make them. So I got a one inch bar in the mini forge. Um, got the two orifices open, so get a lot of air, a lot of heat. It's only been in there a few minutes, but uh, I can see it glowing already. Just give it another minute or two. Something was going on there. Started going crooked on me. I didn't have my die in tight. And that's what happens. Oh. Anyway, that's the end of my day. Stacked a lot of wood. I didn't stack it, my wife stacked it, but I split it. Loaded it. Ugh. So we we'll forget the day off. <sighs> Not even beat. <gasps> oh, I was pretty impressed by what I could get done with that battery and solar panel. Um. It never did shut off. I was using it for all kinds of things, and the only time it stopped working was the uh, chop saw. I didn't like that. But the starting amps on a chop saw is pretty high because it's a 15 amp machine, so the starting amp peak like 22, 23 amps or something sometimes. So that shut it down, but it didn't. It didn't kill it. I just switched it off, turned back on. It just the inverter doesn't like it. That's all. Other than that, um, you know, 
regular day-to-day -day stuff. I uh, started putting some of my pumpkins out by the roadside to sell and I sold two today for five dollars a piece. Woo. Um, probably cost me ten dollars to make them. Uh, if I stick to that sort of uh, business plan, uh, who knows where it will take me. Uh, and um, other than that, things are what they are. It's not really anything new to tell today, so hopefully tomorrow something more interesting will happen. I'm waiting for, uh, well I was going to do the hinges today and my plasma cutter screwed up. I think some of the, uh, I've got an air dryer for it and it takes these pellets and I think some of the pellets are breaking down and a piece got inside the plasma cutter so I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. I'm going to take it all apart probably and uh, fix it. So, Other than that, my day was, it was okay. It was a beautiful day. Not much else to say, so we'll see you next time. Cheers.